Good morning. Uh, today we are going to see a bit more on the basic functionality that ArcGIS has. And to do this, I'm going to open a, a demo data set from Bremerhaven in northern, in northern Germany. So this is a demo data set uh, uh, containing points and uh, um, other data. So you see here there are some TXT files, uh, there are some point files, and I can start adding them. There we are, I have different point files. Uh, then in the same folder, there's some lines. I can add some lines and polygons. Um, and here we have a, very, a first problem that I'm gonna uh, address uh, a little bit later. Uh, and after that, uh, we have some uh, geological map, for example, this one should be a geological map of the area. So there are different different sheets in there, and these are these are the different these are the different sheets in there. So the first thing uh, we can do is to, to make a little bit of order in all of this uh, is to select, for example, only the points, right click, group, and have a group layer. So I can call them, I can call it points, and now every time I turn off the entire group layer, all the layers will be turned off here. Then I can put here group the lines. And here uh, again, the lines, they are, they disappear if uh, um, I, I untag. And here I can put group maps. Okay, so uh, for which concerns, uh, the, the very first thing to do when, uh, uh, when importing a project like this is to check that everything has the same uh, uh, coordinate system. You have seen that there was a warning when I uploaded one of the files. Uh, I think it was this one. So uh, if you see that here, if I click on, on uh, um, one of the files and I go to source, I can see that the geographic coordinate system in G is in GC GCS, geographic coordinate system, WGS 1984. But whenever I go to this one, for example, if I go to this one, I see that the, the, the coordinate system is in a projected coordinate system. So I can visualize the data because ArcGIS uh, uh, projects the data on the fly. Uh, but if I add to, uh, to look uh, or, or to make, to apply um, uh, statistics to this layer, for example, or to analyze it against other layers, I would probably have some problems. So let me remove it uh, and everything I have in here should be WGS84. Yes, WGS, yes, WGS and WGS. Okay, so all my vector data is in WGS. Let's look at the maps. They should all be in WGS except one. Uh, yeah, WGS84. There it is. One, two, for sure. This, these three are also marked in the file name as WGS, so they are. And this one, let's see, this one is also in WGS84. So I can see that I have a geological map here. See the geological map, this is the Vaser, Vaser C. Um, and I can see that I have some, some topographic maps on top of it, on top of that. Okay, so uh, now how do I uh, insert that file that um, was not in uh, uh, WGS84? So let's look for it again. It was inside the lines here and it was this one. So you see that uh, it gets added uh, because it gets projected. Uh, but what we want is to, is to give this file uh, a new coordinate system. So how we handle this in RGIS uh, is rather simple but we will have to create a new file. So I go here on the search bar 
uh, this bar searches all the tools and I look for project. So there is, you see that there's a number of choices. The first one is the good one. Define projection, this is very important. Define projection is used when there is no projection assigned yet to your file. But in this case, we have a projection assigned to the file. So we have to go to project data management. So it takes a second usually to open. Oh, there we are. Sip of coffee and there we are. Okay. So uh, this is, is how many of the tools of ArcGIS look like. So I have to choose an input data set or feature class. So the input data set I want to use for this analysis is this file, which is in a different coordinate system than the rest of, the, of, of it. Good. So you see that it recognizes the coordinate system directly and they want a data set, a, 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 an output data set name. So what I can do is basically navigate to my documents folder. Um, let's see, to the same folder where I have these ones. Uh, it's in the documents, too many folders. I think this is it. So let's, let's put it here. So, uh, Project line. Okay, I will call it project line. And then I have to tell ArcGIS what is the output coordinate system. So uh, to select the output coordinate system, I have to go on this little button here, and a template will, uh, a, a, another uh, toolbar will, will appear. So you see that here I have my favorites. So these are uh, projected coordinate systems that uh, I've been using most often. Uh, or I have, I can select from a list of geographic coordinate systems or projected coordinate systems. So what I can do, there are different things I can do. So uh, one thing I can do is import the coordinate system from another file. So for example, if I know that this one is WGS84, I can go onto this, uh, onto this small arrow, import, select one of the files that I know as, as the coordinate system I want, and it will be immediately selected. Okay, in this case it's GCS WGS84. Or I can look for the same down here, geographic coordinate systems, Word WGS 1984, and it is exactly exactly the same. Another thing I can do is search for a coordinate system. So, GG, so I can do WGS and all the WGS will appear in the, in the drop-down menu. So this has been filtering everything. Uh, what I can also do, uh, the, uh, coordinate systems also have, um, a, each coordinate system has, has an um, EPSG code. This is a unique code that is assigned in order not to confuse different coordinate systems. For example, G, uh, GCS WGS84, this is the normal uh, coordinate system, by the way, which is used by GPSs and phones and, and everything. Um, is 4326. So if I type here 4326, I have GCS WGS84 as, as the very first one that, that appears. So I have only this one. So now that I selected the coordinate system, uh, this is uh, this goes uh, the geographic transformation. This is uh, the algorithm that transforms from one system to the other is selected uh, optionally. You can also select it manually. But unless you know what you're doing, I would suggest you to go with uh, um, with uh, the, the the default one. Then you just press OK. You see that it's running. It's going for a second. Should be done. No, not yet. Uh -huh. 
well. Let's look for it. Probably I put it in a different folder. Yes, there it is. And I have this project project line here. So you see that actually the difference is not that much from this is the line we just created. I'm going to highlight it in, in red. OK, this is the line we just created and the blue line or let's, let's put it in black. The black line here is the, the line that we had before. So this discrepancy is due to the fact that this uh, file has been projected on the fly by ArcGIS. So we see it more or less in the same place. But this one is the final projection that we gave it. So um, usually it's, it's much better uh, to, uh, to use the projection. Now I deleted that layer and this is uh, and this is the final uh, good data set. Now everything is in, is in the same coordinate system and I can use this data set to make um, different, uh, um, uh, different types of analysis. So there's another thing in this data set that I, that I want to show. Um, of course, what, what I can do when I'm working with ArcGIS or what can happen um, is that uh, I have data that is not exactly in the format, uh, in, in a shapefile format or in a geographic ready, ready format. So for example, uh, let me see this one, coordinate sites 2020. So you see that I added this file is a text file and it added this as this with this little icon down here. So, well, first of all, let me, let me do this. I know I can see it here. So. Uh, I can right click on this, open the table and see what is inside the table. Let me, let me pull it. It's on the other screen, of course. Okay, let me pull it here. Okay, this uh, is uh, a number, a different, uh, uh, these are different boreholes, so um, corings, longitude and latitude. Uh, elevation above sea level and other characteristics. So uh, what I can do from this, um, from, from this text file, as I have longitude and latitude and also an elevation, is to basically um, transform this into something that can be displayed in ArcGIS. So right now, oh, sorry, right now this data cannot be displayed in ArcGIS. Um, if you look at one typical shapefile and you open the attribute table of a typical shapefile, you will see that there are no latitude. Uh, uh, well, in this case, there are latitude and longitude, but they are not necessary for um, they're not necessary for for the display to oops, for the display to happen uh, because latitude and longitude are already embedded into the into the file itself. So this is what we have to do embed latitude and longitude into the file and then display it. So let me uh, eliminate these points because this is uh, a result of what, what we have already done in a former exercise. So what I have to do is go here, select this layer, right click on it, and you see that you have display XY data. There we go. So another uh, bar, another menu appears that is basically asking you, tell me the X field, tell me the Y field, and tell me the Z field. So um, usually this, if, if uh, there is a well-known name, so long, lat, longitude, latitude, etc., it's automatically recognized. Otherwise you would have to select it from the list of, of uh, columns that they have, you have in your in your table. Same for the Z, it's not recognized because here it's in German, so I can put uh, elevation above sea level. And then here it asks you a very um, uh, important thing, which is uh, tell me the geographic coordinate system. In this case, uh, uh, the system does not know what is the geographic coordinate system. So in this case, uh, it automatically recognizes GCS, WGS84, but in case it would be different, you would go back here and it would be the same thing as, as we said before. So it'd be the same thing uh, that we saw before. Uh, I can do okay now. Uh, I can skip this, this information and you see that a new layer has been added here 
And here you have your text file, but also here you have a new shape file, which is basically, uh, let me get rid of, tuck. let me get rid of the maps so we can see it better. Let me, okay. And here, what you have are your boreholes. Now, if I open the attribute table of this, what I see is again the table that is transformed, but this time it's a shape file, so I can use it in ArcGIS. And of course, what I can do is data, export data, and save it to my folder here. So this will be preserved. Otherwise, if you don't save it uh, the next time you open it, you will only have your text file. Uh, attached to it. So this was another uh, quick tutorial or now we can look uh, at, at different kinds of data uh, and now we can import very simply um, data with coordinate information inside them into, into this. Thank you very much.